A force is basically an interaction that causes an object to start moving or speed up, stop moving or slow down, change direction or change shape. This interaction can be in the form of a push, a pull or a twist. We can classify forces into two main groups, contact or non-contact forces. As the name implies, contact forces require physical contact between two surfaces. For example, I'm applying physical force to this putty so I can change it into different shapes. There is physical contact between the source of the force, my hand, and the putty. So therefore, this is a contact force because there is physical contact between the two surfaces. Another great example of a contact force or a byproduct of contact forces is friction. The first one I'm going to talk about is magnetism. Magnets don't have to physically touch each other for them to affect each other, so therefore magnetism is a non-contact force. Another example of a non-contact force is static electricity. If I rub a cloth against a balloon, the electrons will transfer from the cloth to the balloon, so the cloth becomes positively charged because it's lost these negative electrons and the balloon becomes negatively charged. And now if we hold the balloon up to some things, they'll be attracted to it because it has this negative charge. The last non-contact force that I'm going to talk about is the one that affects you every single day without you even realizing it, and that's gravity. When you think of gravity, you probably think of space and planets and moons and stars, but according to Isaac Newton's universal law of gravitation, anything that has a mass has a gravitational field. So for example, there's a gravitational pull between yourself and the computer in front of you, but you don't notice it because it's so small that it's barely measurable. We do notice it when we look at bigger masses because the bigger the mass, the more gravitational pull it has. And so that's why we tend to really associate it with planets and moons and stars because those masses are much, much bigger. It's not only the masses of two objects that affects how much they'll be gravitationally attracted to each other, but also the distance between them. And in fact, the distance between two objects has a stronger impact on whether they'll be attracted to each other than their masses. The bigger the distance between them, the weaker the gravitational field. To watch more of these valuable videos, click subscribe button and join stills and moves.